Hello there everyone, I'm Todd Howitzer Lover, and welcome back to Old World Blues. Of course, we are playing the TAA, we're currently at war with Pecos Colony, and the casualties, well, they're not great, but they could be worse, they could be a lot worse. Regardless, we must do another focus. Unfortunately, we could probably no longer proclaim our love to Todd Howitzer, but maybe there's a chance later on in the focus tree once we get big and bright. But anyways, let's go ahead and do maybe shall not be infringed as long as it's black. I kind of like salvage cars. A nice automobile is an indicator of a successful businessman, but they've got military appliances too. Being able to ride through enemy territory faster than any man could has its perks. You can even have them in any color you want, as long as it's black. Very nice. And as you can see, we're slowly running out of energy cells, which is not good. And I, I maybe might have lost a little bit of territory here. Maybe lost just a little bit, but we'll get it back soon enough. It's all about long-term strategy and destroying our enemy when we can. And it's mostly because we're losing energy cells, it's because we are using cast as well, so... Oh, that's not looking good over there. But the biggest problem, really, for us right now, is that we do not have anti-tank. Which is a big, big no-no. But we'll have it within two weeks, and we can start making some. Which will be a very, very good thing, but we've got quite a few comments to go through. Oh, guys, please keep defending for now. I mean, we've killed a lot of Moth, even without having any anti-tank, but that's alright. Armored Assaults, that'll be good. And we do want to make a beeline for tanks. Let's get to rapid motorized deployment as well. 20% reinforcement. Reinforce rate, not bad. Pretty good over there. Uh, just keep holding for now, since we don't have to go to war with anyone else. Let's see. Let's see. Support equipment we could grab. Research speed. Water. Water's good. We need a little bit more scrap. Support equipment's actually doing pretty darn well as well. Yeah, I definitely could use some anti-tank. Come on, guys. Get it done. Get it done. There we go. I'm going to immediately grab... Uh, someone did recommend we get mil uh, miniguns. So let's go and grab this one, then. We already are using them, so... Alrighty, tidy. Now we can do a pretty good job, hopefully, against the enemies. We're gonna max this out as fast as we can. Go up and get three. You know, go and grab two. Go down three here as well. We want a lot of these bad boys. And, of course, more guns as well. And I still want to entice these guys to attack us a little bit more. Alright, we got nine. Militia. As someone said in the comments from yesterday, we should probably eventually get rid of our militia. Just because, eventually... Actually, before we do this one, I'm gonna go ahead and grab... Power generators. We, we definitely need these right now. But against Santa Ana, we're definitely going to need to get rid of militia because they're not going to stand up to him, probably. So let's see what happens. Ooh, broad leadership. We could do that. Ooh, let's keep doing this too. Machine assisted encryption. That'd be nice. And we're almost out of energy cells, which is a big no no. Big, big, big no no. If only lost 300 more guys since we started, that's totally fine with me. Never enough political power. We only get two a day. Actually, more than two, which is not bad. Uh, the worst port. They still don't want to attack, huh? Hang dogs play one of the max chapters, good. As long as it's black. Let's go ahead and grab this too. Military Academy training, that's fine with us. And bombs away! All the equipment in the world doesn't mean much. The enemy can level up from 15,000 feet in the air. That's why we're laying out the plans to keep enemy bombs away with anti aircraft batteries and an airfield to launch our own fighters. Very good. Get 20 things of Bell P 39 Air Cobra. Nice. Alright, head on back here, guys. I'm going to keep playing this game until you guys decide to attack. And actually, ooh, we're out of energy cells. Well, that's not good. Anti tank is doing well. Three days, not bad. Soon enough, they'll all be dead. Let's take a look at their manpower. That's not bad. Hey, less than 300 guys. Not bad, if I do say so myself. 19 divisions. Led by Sheila Brown. What are we currently constructing? Well, roads. Scavengers want nothing. Get out of my office. Oh, why would you waste money like that? Because we can. Very nice. Oh, guys are over there. Really? I mean, this is getting a little dangerous. I mean, these guys are entrenched, which is good and all, but still. Let's see. Awareness, sniper. Land night attack is pretty good. Uh, I kind of want to do this one just because you get more attack and defense. Why not? Sniper is pretty cool. They love attacking. They love, 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 love attacking. Well, I'm going to keep doing this then. Let's get rid of two because the motorized can move in there very quickly if needed. Well, actually, we're out of energy cells, so never mind. Come on, guys. Try it again. We've lost 600. They've lost only 2,200, but we'll see what happens. Hey, there they go. All right, I'm going to throw half of you guys in here then. Wear them out. We'll be fine. Even though we've lost, we'll probably lose about at least 1,000 manpower in this episode. This episode, this war against Pecos Colony, it doesn't matter, since we'll be able to pretty quickly core these areas as well, so get some manpower back and their factories, which would be a very good thing. Dirty bomb attack. Oh, very nice. <clears throat> very, very nice. 
And once we get all the infrastructure down here, that'd be really good. And then a score. You know, I said earlier that I did want to throw on or lend lease other nations equipment, and we will. But we're currently in a war right now. I hopefully the unity of Austin does not get any smart ideas about taking us out. That wouldn't be very good for us, now would it? Very good. If you guys would like to help out, that's totally fine with me. Because you guys, you're doing pretty well yourself. Not too bad. Let's go and throw some anti-tank on them as well. Now this is going to be good. And we don't even have... Am I, am I even really trying to play? Of course, we want to get APCs as well, so that would be very good. Cool! I love focuses. Sign on bonuses, we lose some caps, we get some rare manpower, thank you. Soldiering is a tough, short, dangerous life. Sometimes the pay and purpose isn't enough to lure someone out of the civilian sector and onto the firing range or the firing line. So we're going to sweeten the deal with some good old fashioned sign on bonuses. Very nice. Wow, that is actually some pretty bad organization right there. I'm going to go and do that. That's pretty good. Keep that up. Mm, actually, let's do this one. It only takes a month to get that and that helps us with resources a little bit too. Alright, we've lost about 2,800. We've lost about 700. How's the uh, army doing? Under wig tall. Oh, there we go. I like this one. That's that's good stuff. I love the train traits. Anything else? Richard Anderson? Yeah, we can do that. I'm going to save it up for maybe another train trait. And Norton Rosser. Strong back. If you have an ambush, if you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. This happens in pretty much every single campaign. A pursuit may stay to their minds, but the blood is already dried. So they just attack us again. We gotta find who attacked our caravans. They gotta have protection. Always have protection. No matter what you do. It's good to have an insurance plan. Nice. Unfortunate. Alright, so are they uh, out of manpower now? 19 divisions. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. You don't say. And we'll finish our land doctrine immediately with. Coordinated onslaught with more breakthrough for vehicles, heart attack, and organization. What are vehicles? Motorized infantry, cybernetic war, war form. I don't know what that is. Legion chariots. I've never used legion chariots before, but hey, that's cool. We just gotta make sure we have enough of an industry, or electricity, or fuel, or engines, or whatever we want to call them, to make sure we can actually power things ahead. Or power things, you know. That would be bueno. New king, clear on white legs. Cool. And they're, if they're out of manpower, man, and they still want to attack me. Hey, well, better luck to them. Good luck. And we got better light machine guns. Heck yeah. Get some Granados. Yes, please. Do not interrupt an enemy while he's making his mistake. Now, attacking won't be super easy just because, well, we're out of energy cells. That's okay. Ooh, my training, multi purpose equipment. Good. Grab some more flexible designs. Energy cell gain per energy plus 10%. Yes, please. And they're still attacking us a little bit. Very nice. Now, these guys do have anti tank. And there are other comments I would like to address very soon. But, you guys. Let's get ready to go to town on these fellas. Now, militia, I really don't like using militia like this. But it's sort of a necessary evil. Signing on bonuses, we're really out of money now. Shall not be infringed. The ability to defend life, liberty, and property go about as far as whatever piece you can sh own you own can shoot. True before and even truer now that we're surrounded on all sides by enemies. It's time to make sure the troops have access to some fine, homegrown, killing machines. Oh, I love advanced weaponry. Yeah, that's a lot of debt. Agent captured. We must mount a rescue operations. Well, we'll, we'll get them back as soon as we win this war. We can go and try to rescue him, that's fine. I almost never do this stuff. Uh, with, you know, that's a. Oh! Hello! Oh boy. Well. We're gonna do our best here. Good luck. And Godspeed. Go right on ahead. And maybe I did not give you orders. There you go. Good luck. Hey! <clears throat> Militia, still pretty good. Still pretty good. So far, it's been pretty much a complete waste of us doing Old World Blues and stuff. Like, or not Old World Blues, but uh, scavenging for stuff. My goodness, it's been a complete uh, kind of waste, to be honest. It's like, like why, why do we even do that? Why? Well, they guys, they guys, they killed off their own manpower. What do they expect? 
Wow, that's a lot of m negative money. I don't like that. And of course, we are on historical, so Kaiser's Legion has joined Kaiser's Legion, so, you know, go figure. But once the dust is settled, we'll have plenty of political power. And we'll probably need to. We already did this. Ooh, can we not do this if we're not at war? You know what? We're just going to come to two description just in case. Just in case. It's always good to do stuff just in case. Legendary Wastelanders. That might be okay to do. Naval designers kind of a waste. Vehicle designers. Oh, actually, actually, we can actually use this. Motorized vehicles. Better cell usage. More max speed. Armored personnel carriers. More liability and max speed. More heart attack. That's okay. I almost never use that one. Mm, I would like a massive motorized army. But I would like angry armor just because we're going to use them by themselves as well as use them in our tank divisions. So APC manufacturers, yes. I'm actually going to use that in this campaign. Because you guys recommended it. Nice. There we go. And before we forget, occupy territories. That one. You have to do that one. Use default garrisons. Ooh, 24 production. Wow, that's 190. Jesus, that's a lot. Texan volunteers. Lower manpower requirements, the better. Nice. Oh, you guys are done. Oh, you guys are just normal infantry, which is fine. Well, there you go. Good luck. We should probably make this a little bit more balanced, but whatever. They've only lost 7,000. They've lost half their army. So, and there was... A, okay, so, regarding comments about the scope of this campaign, I asked you guys that yesterday. How far should we go? And there's quite a bit of support for us to do a full Wasteland Conquest, which, in my mind, you know what? For Todd Howitzer, we'll do anything for him. And... So, I, I you know what? We probably will. We'll encounter some difficulties here and there. But why not? Let's uh, make a full Wasteland Conquest. Someone said we should go all the way to Cascadia, so... Sure, why not? Now, regarding Mexico, you guys had some interesting options. Some of you guys recommended that we actually puppet the RRG, or the Republic of the Rio Grande. Which actually is not a bad idea. Especially, even though they're kind of gone now. Let's go and do Private Power Armor, and then we'll keep talking about this. It's becoming somewhat of a badge of success for the richer elements in our military to purchase and kit out their own suits of power armor. While they may look a little tacky sometimes, there isn't anything or any denying the kind of advantage these few wealthy souls bring to the battlefield. Ooh, can we use power armor? Maybe. Ooh, Van Horn, don't mind if we do. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pegos Colony. Cool, but as I was saying, so someone recommends I should pop at the RRG. Not a bad idea. But they also recommended... That maybe we should, once have one of Tlaloc's sons have control over Mexico. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, machetes to Eden. Well, that's bypassed. Guns for farmers. That's bypassed. Oh, yeah, I guess, well, we took them over. The principle of non-aggression. Well, it's almost certain that one of these days, RRG is going to come back over the Rio to try and tear us a new one. We ought to do what we can to buy ourselves time while they're still on the back foot. To this end, we'll propose a treaty that will, at the very least, delay their ability to attack us. Non-aggression principle. Uh, pact. Pact with them, yes. Oh, we need to do this, too. Uh, Santa Ana's going to come kill us eventually, so yeah, we've got to do that, too. Yeah, I don't really trust Santa Ana. I'll be honest. But you know what? We should have enough divisions to dissuade him from doing too much too much, or too many, too many bad things against us. Uh, let's look at you guys. You guys could use chem companies. It does lower your armor a little bit more, as well as organization, but trickle back is not bad. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm debating on that one right now. Train 2. Thank you very much. I'm not really sure what to attack next. We don't have a border with Las Granjas, and the ranchers are getting destroyed. We could go to War of the Legion, well, or at least a cohort, but that might not be the best idea to do right now. But let's grab some better... Oh, that stuff. That'd be kind of good. Yeah, it's not looking good for us. If that's the case, we have you guys, we got you guys, we got you guys. Alright then. Hmm. Well, I'll put you guys right there. Okay, maybe we need more than just two. Let's go with six. How's this looking? We're building more stuff up. Let's grab some of this too. There you go. That's nice. You guys will help defend. Oh, actually, you're all militia. Militia can do pretty well over the waterways. If we really have to fight Santa Ana next, that's going to be a tough fight. But not a terrible fight, probably. Especially since we can pierce them. So let's focus on trying to get APCs next. And still upgrading our cars, don't get me wrong. Hmm. I'm going to leave the waterways, or the actual land routes, for someone else. One, two. Maybe two divisions should be enough, maybe. Because there's so many waterways. Ugh, Mexico. What the heck? Hello. Now, some of these guys are veterans. I like it. If 
There we go. Howitzers home records, huh? Very cool. Yeah, we need we need we need more armies. Um, you know what? We're gonna make six of these as well because we don't have just enough strength. We're mobilizing more, which is nice, but just not enough strength yet. Cool. Let's let them go on. North Kubo is taking in a raid. Good job, guys. And the good thing about doing a full west and conquest, we don't need to conquer everybody. Eventually, there will be enough people that are destroyed and have big enough enemies that, well, we don't have to do all the dirty work ourselves, which would be very nice. Oh, man, that sucks. Production cost is pretty good for screens. I hate less max range, but more less armor, less heavy attack, less range. That's just not good, man. That is just not bueno. Go and choose that. It's fine, whatever. We'll get enough political power soon enough. It doesn't even matter. After flexible designs, we'll probably just... Eh, actually, can we get better planes yet? We might be able to, but I did say I want to get some APCs, so... We'll grab some scrap gun trucks. Is this... Oh, man. Is that a giant? Or is that truck just really small? Because, man, if we had these giants... I mean, we could we could breed our well then. Ooh. And we're going to do that. We're also going to do some of this. Put these guys up top first. I think that'd be better. Yeah, and go ahead and have everyone else train. I would like you guys to merge armies. Let's see who's better. Uh, you got Sa. He's E, so. Okay, they went to war with the Alamo chapter. Actually, can we send them volunteers? Maybe we'll send them volunteers. Come on, please say yes. Pfft, what? Didn't we ask you guys to help for... Uh, help earlier? Oh, that sucks. Next time we'll be prepared. Our militia found the brigands. We cannot stop their escape. Multiple members of our militia died in the assault. It seems that their sacrifice was in vain. That sucks. That really sucks. I, I mean, we try to help them out. D do you want Lunleys? We can start Lunleys. Here, have some, um... Here's some guns. Here's 500 things of guns. You, sec you ups up sex? No, you accepted the guns, but you don't accept people to help you out. All right, all right. Thorns of the Yellow Rose. Merge your previous national ideas into one strong one. Let's try that. A rose is a beautiful flower. A sight to behold, a lovely gift, a perfect backdrop to a painting, but it's also dangerous, being covered in thorns along all the body. It's not something to be feared, but to be respected and handled with care. Ooh, roses. Coordinate also, and we're done with our land doctrine. That was fast. That was very fast. Ooh, efficient cap, efficiency cap. Why not? Actually, how strong is Santa Ana? He's getting a lot of compliance. Shielding the coast. That's a lot of manpower. Definitely more factories. Definitely more uh, people than us. Bigger navy. Probably bigger air force. He's big. Oh, don't want to mess with him. And no one needs to train, huh? It's fine with me, but... Alright, so we got some irrigation. That's nice. Can we grab some of this? Grab some of that. Let's grab some more resource extraction game. Or resource efficiency game, because we were extracting some scrap. But we could always, of course, use more. Hmm. Oh, look. Roots of the Yellow Rose. Look at that. That looks pretty awesome. Wow. Plus 20% infrastructure construction speed now. That is nice. Keep making stuff, though, guys. Keep making stuff. Roads are important in Ancapistan. Well, hmm. Actually, how much money do we not have? That's a lot of not money. Actually, is there anything we can do about these guys? See, we have these guys back. Come to Reynosa, and then you come over to... Uh, Gloria. Let's do Gloria. Hopefully no one gets found out. Maybe we can pull some shenanigans in his lands. Maybe, maybe not. Just in case, let's grab some focus fire. That'd be pretty good to do as well. What? We need more than... What happened to the army XP? Did we use it? Oh, that sucks. Okay, we'll come back. We'll try this one, but... I'm kind of surprised this one is not going to auto-bypass, but whatever. It's fine. We already read it, if you'd like to read it again. I don't think they're going to come back and attack us anytime soon, though. Just a feeling. Might be right. I might be wrong. But just a feeling. And it'll be interesting to see Ejercito Mexicano go to war with the Unity of Austin. If they do eventually kill each other, they probably should kill each other. But you never know. 28, 27 and a half goes up to 0. 0.8, then point oh, or 0. 0.1 to 0. 0.4. That's not bad. Gotta keep going as fast as we possibly can. I want more compliance. We gotta get more toll booths over there. Oh, we got more energy. That's good. Let's see. Daily gain is 85. The Air Force 
doesn't consume nearly as much as the army, which makes sense since we do have motorized. And we're already halfway done making these guys, so that's pretty good. Hmm. 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 Don't mind if we do. Costs a lot of political power, but that's fine. Whatever. Still mobilizing? That's very nice. When will you guys be done? April 8th. That's like a month and a half away. April 9th. Oof. If that's the case, let's go and see if we can just convert all you guys to normal militias. There we go. We need that much. That's fine. Cuts into our manpower just a little bit, but that's okay. Whatever. Professional volunteers are nice and all, but thank you for playing. We might consider getting some dogs as well, but that's going to do. Handle the mongers. Ooh, I'm not sure about that. Hmm. But that's pretty much... There's nothing... There's really not else we can take, then. Uh, the Ironmonger clan to our east are a constant problem. Sending raids over the border, abducting people, ambushing caravans, and even raising farms to the ground. It's about time we did something about it and cut them out of the deal. Well, their lands are... <clears throat> currently occupied. And I don't want to go to war with these guys until... They're pretty much done. No, not the Alamo, no. Not again. No. That sucks. Don't lose the Alamo, please. Come on, Catherine Tony. Ooh, scrap gun trucks. Listen, cars, vehicles, more max speed, sure. Let's start making a few of these bad boys here. God, we need more scrap. Uh, yeah, we got enough of that. There we go. Let's go do that. Well, we have more than enough anti tank rifles for now. That'll be okay. Make some good old scrap gun trucks because they do have armor on them as well. Nice, very nice. Rocket launchers, come over here and grab some more defense. Ooh, for infantry. That is applied to militia, but not. Motorized. I couldn't think of the word. Why can't I not think of that M word? Hmm. 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 Oh, wow, really good in supply. Pretty equally balanced across here. Better on defense, and Thomas Harrison, well, he's just kind of there. Actually, what are we doing right here? Come on, keep making more factories. Come on, we need more output. Actually, how's the intelligence agency doing? I love the CSA. Consumer Intelligence Agency. Ooh, how's... Oh, that's not too bad. On Dotus? Oh, yeah, you guys are in a civil war. That's not good. How's the Legion doing? What are they up to? Oh, they're killing the hangdogs up there. Interesting. Flagstaff has a core as Flagstaff... Well, that makes sense, then. Uh, anything else? Ooh. Ooh! Don't mind if we... Oh, hello! So you guys are going to be under a new army, but not really. Actually, where did I put you guys? You guys are over there. One, two, three. Put you all right there. Oh, ooh. You kind of already have someone over there, but it's fine. One, two. Hmm, if we were to go to war... I, just, uh, I don't think it's worth going to war now since they're almost done anyways, but... Hmm. So that barely covers us for now. If we were to attack... They are putting down a lot of resistance. We could swamp probably most of their army. And how fast would we be able to go to war for them? That's all. That, yeah, they'll be dead in 150 days. Oh, we're out of manpower, too. Oh, crap. Ah, let's see. Let's see, see, see. So we have pretty much everything covered except that hole right there, which is fine. I know how to cover holes. Let's see. Here we go. Uno. Wait. Uh. And Uno goes dos. And actually, we're gonna go three there just because that's a that's a waterway or not that's not that's not a waterway, so that's even more important to guard. And just in case, that's fine. But keep building this up first. Alright, so we got a good amount of soldiers out. Let's do that. APC divisions. We gotta keep our army XP up so we can do the next focus as well. Now we have to be at war to raise the conscription level. That kinda suck arenas, not gonna lie. Or it has to be after 2281. Or 2280. So that could be a lot worse. Alright, Thorns of the Yellow Rose. Hopefully we can actually complete it this time. Let's see what happens. We get army XP from it. And let's go. We actually could make some robots, but eh, it's gonna be okay for now. More breakthrough. It's not bad. Actually, better planes? Maybe? Oh, we got some of that manpower back, too. That's okay for us for now. Oh, man. Oh, Santa Ana. He does eventually go to war with Petro Chico, but it's a, kind of a risk. Seeing as he might go to war with Petro Chico 
and then us, or I could just go to war with us first. Ooh, do you have a thing over here? Glo oh, the Gloria thingy, yeah. That's a little bit. Actually, how's this looking? I haven't done this at all. What the heck, Mr. Mocha Lover? Or Miss, uh, Mr. Todd Lover? Um, yeah. Oh, wait, Demander up. Oh. Okay, then. Look at that. Wow, that actually worked. Okay, so now would be a good time to attack him, then. Well, Crutterinos. Huh. I am, um... I am... You know what? We got plenty of political power. If we can go to war with them, great. If we can't, oh well. Alright then, not bad. Oh, oh, we also want to do this too. Please stop doing your stuff here. I love what you're doing with this stuff, but still. So you guys go ahead and train. We're gonna lose a few planes here and there. Oh my goodness. Wow. What can we do with these guys? Bribe leadership? That's not bad. How much money do we not have? Only minus 91, not bad. We got about two weeks left for that. Not bad. Wow, this is this is sad. I offered them divisions. I, I gave them Lend-Lease, too. Do you want more Lend-Lease? I can give you a few more guns, like, maybe, like, 500 more guns. Do you, would you like 500 more guns? There you go. Here, here have the guns. Oh, they even have power armor. Oh, look at these guys. So, how strong are these guys? Support, robot, platoon, template, two. They have some heavy robots, some light robots, some maintenance companies. Um, if you guys can make an instrument, oh no, oh, you just lost your power arm. That's not good. Now we have to deal with this resistance, but you know what? Whatever. Boom, 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 boom. Land forts all over the place. We got a lot of areas to core. You can lower that to one. Hondo. Oh, there you go. It's fine. Just build all that stuff up. Nice. I want to go that national spirit too. Todd eats a cheeseburger. Whoa, whoa! Looks like Todd missed lunch today, man. It was approaching 3 in the afternoon, when the realization struck Todd that he hadn't eaten anything all day. It was far too early to go out for dinner, but too much too late to go anywhere that serves breakfast. With considerations in mind, he took a short walk down the road to a local Brahmin burger joint. The food was maybe a little pricey, but well prepared, if not a little overcooked. It left Todd slightly tired, but well fed. Huh, not bad. We got 5 political power, 3% stability, we lost war support, and we lost 2 more caps that we don't own. Okay. Our potential realized? Oh, we need the yellow rose bloom, so we need to complete this one. It's okay. Refurbish the forge. Hey, there we go. You can get more scrap. As it turns out, those big green morons were camped up in what used to be a big refinery. It's never going to work as well as it did before the war, but with a little love, because we love love here, we can have this puppy pumping through enough metal and guns to fill our stockpiles up. And we get some uh, workshops as well. Oh, we get the forge of giants as a core. Man, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, militia training? Oh, yeah. Let's go and close this. Nice. Ooh, deliver. As much as I think having motorcycles with smash, smashing melee, slashing melee would be cool and all, I gotta give my vote to the deliver. I think that's probably the best one for us. Mm, I kind of want to go down here too, but I gotta save the political power up. How close are we for this? 76. Mm, let's go to Battle Harden. Actually, we lose political power because of that. But 2.11 is not bad. That's really not bad. Hey, man. I don't want to give you my power armor because we might need that someday, but you keep doing you guys. Rubber refinement, nice. Get even more breakthrough. Oh, and lightweight metals. We're going to go monoplane fighter since we already have them. Hey, perfectly 25. Not bad. I'll take that gladly. So it looks like we're probably not going to be using uh, special forces. I mean, we, we could probably get tanks. I mean, power armor. I don't think tanks should consider special forces. Oh, look at... These guys are doing a lot better than I thought they would. Holy crud. It does help that we're actually, like, putting our, border, our soldiers on the border with these guys. So, maybe that's why they don't have all their divisions over here, maybe? I didn't think the Alamo chapter would actually be able to hang, hang, hang up or, you know, pal around with them. But, hey, I can be proven wrong. And we're still building up here. You know what? Ooh, bro I mean, there's they could still lose, but where is this? Let's get rid of that one. We can get rid of that one and that one and that one. Other than that, let's keep it like that. Especially with these motorized. They're not looking too bad. 
20 combat width. I'm not putting on cams. I mean, that's good and all. Trickle back is 15%. It does lower their armor. It does give them more HP, though. XP loss does go down. Uh, uh, maybe I'll use maintenance companies instead. Let's see what happens. Oh. Why do you have orders? Yeah, these guys are doing really... Why are they doing so well? Me no comprehende. Why are you losing Santa Ana? You get 11,500 manpower. It's the GIA, I almost said CIA, GAI plant reactivation. We're halfway through our. I mean, how's the Alamo chapter doing this well? Is it because we gave him guns? It must be because we gave him guns. That, that's got to be why. We gave uh, Mama Catherine here some guns, and she's like, thank you. Join the TEU, though. Do I really want to join the TEU? With the mutants out of the way, we now have pretty good access to our more civilized Texan neighbors who have thrown together some sort of quasi-alliance known as the Texas Economic Union. With, San with Santa Ana getting ornery or orgy, and with the RRG looking to put us back in their pocket, it may be very well time to find some friends. You know what? If we could use them, maybe we will be able to abuse them. And that's not always a bad thing. Don't quote me on that, though. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Uh, yeah. So, maybe we could use a few allies here and there. Still exercising, that's good. It's always good to exercise a little bit. I generally, generally try to do that every day, at least a little bit. That's good to you guys, too. Because I love planes. Get you at least halvies, halfsies. Do that. I could train you, but we're going to be running out of planes for this, so. There you go. I mean, if they get all this, I'll probably have to give them all of Texas, but then. Seriously, should I really release the Republic of the Rio Grande? It doesn't make sense for us to give, like. Mexico to Maximilian when he gets released just because we don't really believe in monarchists around here corporate entities totally but monarchists I don't know a monarchy in my Texas in our Texas I don't know about that man Moctezuma maybe he does like human sacrifice we'll see nice we just scored that too Pecos would be good to get next that'd be better to do than Terlingua actually that's gonna be 200 anyways 300, yeah, it's going to be 300 anyways. Actually, we're going to get this one next, then. A few more factories. Only 59 factories, that's all. Only 59. Hey, motorized. Very good. There you go. These guys should have enough. Uh, and then Zapata. Zapata. Him and his anarcho... Whatever he has. Syndicalist Zapatism thing. That doesn't really work well with us, either. Yeah, basic laser weaponry. Oh, I think we, we should go down ballistics. Yeah, I think it makes a little bit more sense for us to go with ballistics. So let's go with warrior equipment. We get more breakthrough too. I like that. Five guns, the, the deliverer. Oh, look at that scrap. Look at that. Nice. Infiltrate and make resistance contacts. Does this help us prepare a collaboration government? Oh, the TBH offers our, declines our offer. The response from the burgeoning TU was swift and disappointing. It seems they have no intention of letting us bask in their little patch of the sun. This could either mean they don't just don't fancy us or they're preparing to attack. Well, that's disappointing. I thought Texans are supposed to stick together. I guess not. I'm never inviting them to Whataburger them. The yellow rose blooms. For the most part, we've sorted out all of our diplomatic woes. The treaty signed, friends met, and profit made. It looks like it'll be a bright future working with the rest of Texas. It's finally the time for the yellow rose to bloom. Well, I don't know about for the rest of Texas. It depends on under whose management they're a part of. Actually, Santa Ana is coming back over here too, so we gotta be careful about that. Hey, oh. Planes? Don't mind if we do. Yeah, let's actually get a lot of planes. I love planes. They go, wee or brr. <laughs> Mm. Now these are one of some of my favorite planes. Planes can do a lot of damage, not always, but can do a lot of damage. Still 2.1, not bad. Uh, I do want to send out scavengers, but it's kind of a waste at this point. Let's see. Ooh, help settlements, yes, please. How many people do we get a month? Agent captured. Oh, oh, how dare you! Can't you just bribe your way out of this, please? Go ahead and prepare that. It looks like we have to go to war then. Better planes, better engines, Todd Howitzers. Monoplane attackers, sure, why not? Oh, come on, I just want to go to war with these guys now. How? how okay, so what, what are the casualties for this war? Azercito? Oh, they're not even measured by 6,000. That's a lot of death for the Alamo chapter. Wow. We know they have exactly 41 divisions. They've only lost 2,000 versus 6,000, Jesus Christ. But they're doing better on the attack back, but. 
That doesn't mean it's always going to last. Well, I guess it's time to go. Oh, ooh, or oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, does this mean you get nuked? Oh, come on, man. I forgot about that modifier. I completely forgot about that. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Okay, it's a lot of can. can you just die now? <laughs> Please, just die. And we can't go to war with Unity of Austin, since they're in the Texan Economic Union. <laughs> I mean, we could help take out the Alamo chapter, but that's not cool. Frequency analysis. Oh, let's grab this one. It's complicated circuitry. It's probably better to do for now. Are you sure you don't want volunteers, man? Are you sure? Oh, I mean, uh, 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 woman. Woman. Catherine. Catherine's probably a woman. You should never know. I might have to make sure. I might have to double check. Impact bumpers, salvage gun trucks. Let's grab. Yeah, simple tracks. Mm. Simple trackerinos. All right then. Our potential realized. We've come an incredibly long way since we broke up from that corruptible republic, and now it's high time we made a real name for ourselves out in the wastes, carving out a piece of the world we can call our own. Merge our previous national ideas into one stronger idea. Real loyalists will be gone. Thank goodness. I don't like that one. That hurts us. That hurts our potential. Since this Pecos colony, Pecos area does actually cost literally 300, uh, there's no point to not do this at a cheaper cost then. Because if we did that one first, then this one, uh, would, this one down here would cost more, so. I love it. Thank you. Please don't get found out next time. Oh, actually, I don't, I don't want to put you there. I want to put you guys over. Let's go over here. Why not? More intelligence, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, how many guns do we got right now? We got that much. Let's give them something else. Let's give them some... Oh, actually, anti-tank would probably serve a very good purpose for them. Would you all like some anti-tank? Where's the anti-tank? Where'd I put it? Oh, there it is. How about we give them... 3-3-3. Three, three, three. That's a good number, right? There you go. Oh, we could justify one of them, too. Uh, you know what? Just in case we need to do this again, we're gonna do this. Oh, God. I forget. When does... Oh, 120 days? That's not bad. But when does Tlalocan die? I don't remember. Teaching Grace. He's gotta be running out of fuel here, right? A proud father. Teaching Grace. That's not bad. Chip off the old block, huh? A proud father. Entrusting Santa Ana with your most powerful and dangerous gifts. This will seriously hinder Maximilian's eventual strength. Huh. Oh, they made an instrument. Oh, that's so good for these guys. Oh, you guys are killing each other up here, huh? Well, good luck. Ooh. Oh, we are, we're done building. Wow. Oh, and the forge are already done down there. You can do that, do that. That's fine. Do all that stuff, too. Uh, do that. those roads over there first, though. That's pretty important. Maybe we have some air bases up there. Maybe get an air base up there. There's so many things that we could do. And then build up, like, a whole bunch of these, because we're going to need a lot more electricity where we're going. Other than that, more military workshops? Yes, probably. Cool. And we need 300 political power, which is fine. Totally fine with me. One, two, and then some. Nice. Resource-wise, we're doing really, really great, I'd say. Our potential realized. After that, rally the people against the Republic of the Rio Grande, repair the armories. Aw, oh, yeah. Preparations for the coming war have begun. Summer house re homes rebuilt into armed factories. Coffee shops turned into bunkers. I and mean, even a few company offices have had sniper nests posted on the roofs. Well, I mean, that's good, good enough for defenses, but what if you have to go in the offense? You can't, like, offensively use sniper nests, can you? Oh, wait. Well, we'll do that. And this one already completed. So people have become fed up with the looming threat of an invasion across the Rio, and their desperation finds themselves far more willing to fight this hated enemy. Well, that's a good thing they're dead, then. Dislodge the iron... Oh, there we go! Oh! Look at this. A far greater threat set afoot in the soil was once the Republic of the Rio Grande, a dastardly, vengeful AI with a nearly unstoppable robot army at his disposal. Santa Ana will stop at nothing to subjugate Texas, and we may very well have to be the ones that stop them. But that gives you a bonus, but that doesn't... Remember the Alamo. That doesn't give you a war goal against them. Fight for freedom. Uh, goes to war with the Republic of the Rio Grande. And for the Rio Grande's former territories. Okay, that's not too bad. Santa Rifle. Let's grab some of the guerrilla tactics. And then we'll get some... Probably some crowd control gear. That's usually pretty good to get, good to get as well. Ah, there we go. Oh, thank goodness. Give him good war now. Of course, it, it would do that after we lose our, our thingamabob. Of course. Why, why, why wouldn't it? Ay, 
Hope you're ready, Desert Fox. Now, these guys can pierce each other. They have logistic companies. Actually, they might not be able to pierce this. Maybe they can, maybe they can't. Oh, hold on. New Vegas. Hold on. Happy 2020, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Now, that's a long Vegas. Quite a vertical poker right there as well. And I did say I want to grab some of this too, so. And some more industry stuff too next. Wow, that's got quite a poker you got there. A little hill up there. Or triangle. Whatever you want to call it. Keep making. Oh, look at that. Edwards Plateau. Very nice. And how much would it cost to do this one? 225, that's quite a bit. It's alright. That is totally okay. Oh, mold divisions. Don't mind if we do. Ah, now we're even more prepared for these guys. And you guys have a good old army. It's going to cost us more, but that's alright. Once we get Gloria, it'll be much better so we can make more money. More money, more better. Alright, so how are you all doing? Well, you guys still some manpower left. Up to 53 divisions. You guys have 9,000 manpower and up to 53 divisions. So actually somewhat equal in terms of strength. That's uh, peculiar, I would say. Of course, we got to make sure we have enough material to actually put down any sort of resistance once we invade. So let's go and grab some research speed. I did say I want to do more industry stuff. That's why we're going to use you guys. Over here, fourth rapid prototyping. we got a lot of naval XP. Look at that. 369. Nice. Very nice. Back here, output, back to output. Even though our output is actually at this point really good. After this episode, it's going to be probably a lot easier hopefully, to actually just start conquering other nations. So I will probably use a sub-mod called Fast Justifications, just so that we can go to war very quickly with other enemy nations, just to get through conquering, because look how many nations there are. Even just in Oklahoma and Texas, that's so many different nations, it's going to take so much time if we don't use a sub-mod, so I think we'll be okay using a sub-mod. Wow, that looks really bad for your power armor. Wow. Can you please stop getting captured, guys? Please. But let's go ahead, actually, let's go, we'll grab this one, because this will give us a bonus attack. So a far greater threat is set a foot upon the soil of what was once the Republic of the Rio Grande, a dastardly, vengeful AI with a nearly unstoppable robot army at his disposal. Santana will stop at nothing to subjugate Texas, and we very may well have to be the ones that stop him. I know I already read that once, but it's only 60 days, and we are manually just fine anyways, so. And it's less than 20 days for that, so I'm not too worried about that. I'd rather get a bonus attacking and defending. Anyway, standard rifle. Uh, we're not even going to get power in here. Eh, we might get that later on. Let's grab some of this. Oh, we need to make some... Oh, crap. I forgot about APCs. How could I forget about APCs? How could I? I mean, they're already 20 combat with, so that looks really decent. Actually, if that's the case... What if I did a little, uh... Thingamajinga here? There you go. Now you got 15.7 armor versus these guys with a 13.2. Actually, with the, the motorized are on the right, and they have support companies, so... <laughs> APC are quite a bit slower. They have way less HP. Less organization. Slightly better, basically the same rec uh, recovery rate. They have less soft attack. Less hard attack. There's a cipher for that. Less air attack. Way less defense. Wow! Breakthrough. Less. Armor slightly more. Piercing is god-awful, but that's just because of the anti-tank. Okay, I kind of don't want to use these guys then. Then again, we don't have the fire teams on here yet, so. Wow, that looks not bueno. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and thank you. Oh, we need more manpower, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Then again, we got 300 political power, so. We basically got a little less than 2,000 manpower. Not bad. And you guys are done fighting, huh? We'll see about that in about a day. And here we go. Now, they're going to attack us. Yes, they are immediately. Are they going to take us here? Let's see if we can push these guys out of here. So we're going to see some motorized on robot action down here. Oh yeah, we can do pretty okay-ish. If I told you to do just a general attack, could you all do that? Oh crap, we, did we, lose we lost our only ship. God dang it. Well, we might be able to do pretty well. Can we, we can pierce each other, of course. With their superiority, we can do pretty well as well. Yeah, that's a lot. 25, 28 ground attack, that's not bad. Now, I'm not going to force the attack here, but Nor and Ross are better be getting a lot of experience with, by doing this. There goes Bone Dancers. This should help these guys out as well. Um, I don't want to lose that many guys, but we'll see what happens. 30 versus 124, 130. Uh, that's not bad. That's not great. Oh, boy. Now we're losing. Okay, stop the attacks. 
go ahead and redo this. Uh, if you guys would like to go there, that's fine. You guys can help. Actually, cut these guys off. There you go. Come on. Push them out, push them out, push them out. Hey, and it took one. Nice, Serenos. Alright, here we go. A volatile shack market. A new profession seems to have appeared recently in the wasteland. People who call themselves realtors keep trying to buy and sell shacks for no apparent reason. This has caused some slight instability in the region, but we think it's an easy way to part some of peasants with the bottle caps. Cha-ching! Not bad, I like that gift. Some bottle caps over here. Regulation shacks market. Regulations? Man, that sounds very un-American. Regulations? Well, maybe a little American, but... I don't know about them regulations. That might hurt our investment portfolio eventually. Cool. I mean, other than that, they're not really attacking anywhere else, which is nice and all, but still. Alright, get on over there if you guys can. Do not let us get encircled. Thank you very much. Very, very good. Get on down here so we don't get encircled and we keep that base as well. That's going to be very nice. Very, very nice. You guys keep these guys in place. Encircle. Destroy. There you go. Go up about. Hey, they died. 3,000. Not bad. We killed off 1,000 of them personally. Not bad, Reno's. Get it, you guys all in the, in the land there, and then we're going to go ahead and attack some more. And we cut these guys off, which is actually not bad. They have the corpse, huh? I love that we own that. Alright, you guys. You just go ahead. You should be able to do this pretty easily. If we force the attack, you guys can probably actually do pretty darn well. Then again, I've been wrong before. And sometimes it's been extremely bloody. With Oh, man, 333. Jeez. Oh, goodness gracious. I really don't want to risk description level, but... Uh, dislodging... Oh, and we get dislodging the Iron Giant. That would be good. I do know, and I do remember, that we do have the Cypher ready to go. So, I want to get rid of these guys first. And then I'll have everyone else attack at the same time as well. So, that would be kind of nice. There we go. Gear tactics. Gear tactics. Gear tactics. Fight for freedom. The time is finally to march back over that dreaded waterway to engage in a fight for our freedom. Just not the freedom to be, but the freedom to be with, without living under the everlasting threat of the newts. I should auto-complete, but whatever. Scavenge vehicles. Uh, I'm not too keen on that one right now. Sand raffle stuff. Oh, do 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 do. Let's grab some decryption. That'd be nice. Now they might be coming through here. That's fine. Let them try to come through there. They ain't going to do very well. Vehicles. Scrap gun trucks. Raising that too much. Ah, that's good. I get some tanks. Yes. Yes. I just want to. I just want to. Just want to beat them up. That's all. Yes. Oh, cut. Oh, he cut out three divisions. That's pretty good. There you go. I know they're I know they're coming over the other way, but that's fine, whatever. That's actually not too many guys. That's actually not bad. Oh, there's another waterway right here. That's like four or five divisions. Nice. Alright, you guys, head on down here. Oh, you're the you're so slow, you're the APCs. Oh man, how long can they sneak up here? Holy cow. There you go. Cause we'll come back and double back this way once we take these guys out of here. Can you guys actually do can you actually attack over the waterway and do well? We're gonna try. Let's risk it. Now that's not very good. But everywhere else, we should be doing relatively okay, right? Especially once our guys are moving out here like crazy. This, I'm not too worried about. I mean, there's a lot of room that they need to go through, so. Nueva Laredo. Hey, you guys got some upgrades. Gunslinger. Eh, it's a land out attack, why not? Down here, we should be doing pretty darn well. Oh, wait, Imperial Mexican demands territory. We'll do you. What territory do you want from us? Oh, that's not getting too bad. You guys unite your lines. And you guys gotta do the same thing right here. Um. Well. If you guys could actually probably just win right there, if you move up, thank you very much. So who is all of this? That is disgusting. Just one line, guys. Just one line. I mean, if they want to go to War 2, I guess we probably won't give them territory then, too, then after this. So be it. So, yeah. Keep going, guys. Oh, boy. We're about to get cut off. Well, that isn't good. Then again, we just cut these suckers off, too, so... If we move fast enough, we can just use one division and take them out. Ah, 
All right, not bad. Frequency analysis. We might actually be able to capitulate him before he uh, can really do too much to us. He's only halfway though. And there's quite a bit of territory down here that we gotta take out. But all oh, this territory will be nice once it's all gone too. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, half you guys come over here too. And we will end this episode once he's nice and dead. All right, like I said earlier, one line, one line. Don't worry about it, guys. One line. We got maybe except for you guys. There we go. Do whatever you can. Hold on for now. Hold the boats. If you need... Oh. Well, I guess we're going to go to war with Monterey soon, probably, too. Oh, boy. Ultimatum. Deadline. We're going to do that. 241. That's not bad. So we got enough manpower, though. That's pretty good. Los Carlos. Let's get to La Pesca first. I'm not going to give anything to these guys, though. They don't deserve any of it. Uh, at least we can try. That'd be good. Miniature circuitry. Good. And I just say we would come back up here, grab some bricks. I love bricks. They can really hurt your enemies if, they, if you really need to. Uh, just chuck bricks at your enemy. Casual brick chucking. Yeah, you get, get rid of these guys. Just go up there, cut them off. That'd be good. This is a giant mess, I'll be honest. It's a giant flipping mess. Oh, we took La Pesca. Okay, so they should be dead very soon then. Where's their capital? Ah, oh, they got it back. Okay. Pick up some of this advanced tools. That's fine. That's fine. No worries. No worries. And then y'all come here and do that. And just go ahead and come down here. And we got plenty of commanders. Oh, look at that money. Wow. Now that's nice. Alright, at this point, go ahead and, uh,. Oh, we can't do this. Oh, any more manpower? Oh, hello. Economic resurgence is uh, pretty nice, I'd say. This is a big old mess. Okay, so they should be dead now, right? How? Oh my goodness, are you are you kidding me? Oh no. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Don't you dare, for the love of God, encircle and destroy one of my divisions. There we go. That's better. That's dumb. Just keep taking their land. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Come on, they should be done. They they should be done. 98% of the way there? Yeah, they should be done by now. Uh, you guys are racing this way. Ooh, if you're worried about this, go right ahead. We gotta just build more factories. We'll get them done. No worries. Come on, it's a giant mess. Oh, no, you go here. That's an actual victory point. We need that one. And it's a core victory point. Oh, these guys are almost done too. That's actually pretty good. Pop freedom. And secure the capital. So we're going to take glory once we're done here too. Oh, the Provisional Republic of Texas exists. Um, okay. Come on, guys. Keep moving in. How are they not dead yet? Okay, hold on. How do they get more score? By taking all this? I don't think so, man. That's, a, that's not enough. Hey, you guys are done though. Nice. Okay, come back over here and just start bullying them. Like... Bullying isn't cool, except if it's against bullies, so then that's cool. Alright, you guys are done. It's time to ransack all of Santa Ana's robots and scour what their devious little bodies have for us. Which sounds really bad if you take it out of context. Um, okay, well, why not? Oh, they got no other... Okay, these guys are heading back up here. That's good. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Steal some technology. Why not? Uh, S-pills? Suicide pills. If you want to say suicide, you got to say cool. Suicide. Don't quote me on that. Do not quote me on that. For the love of God, please don't quote me on that. Van Horn, very good. Even less resistance, more factors, more manpower. What, what, what would you not love from that? Oh, man. All right, well, time to come to the muddy plains. I was We've lost actually less of soldiers than I thought we would lose. We've killed off 9,200, so that's not too bad. Once we get Muddy Plains back, we should be pretty bueno, as they do say sometimes. In, well, crap. It's one thing or another. It's always the Mexican tyrant trying to come take out our 
protects instability and life and love and pursuit of happiness. What the barnacles is wrong with them? Well, you're not getting into this sweet, sweet territory. And I could give it to the Alamo chapter, but they didn't really do much past their own core territory. So, I guess... Mm, let me know in the comments below. Should I liberate this to the Republic of the Rio Grande or not? Should we make Mexico a Republican state? That sounds pretty good, but let me know in the comments below, like you guys somewhat did in the last episode. But regardless, uh, there's other comments, and now that I'm getting to it in the 55... In the, like, within 55 minutes of the video. Uh, play as Hecate, which I will play as some, them someday. But regardless, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. When we take out another Mexican tyrant, and then another Mexican tyrant, and probably after that, perhaps a third Mexican tyrant. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.